Hi there guys, Vino here and welcome to this Vino Plump production. So I've been meaning to do this video for three months now. It's got to be two, three months now. I got this not long after coming back off a of furlough off of uh, work and it's a bit of a treat to myself and we'll talk about it in a minute. I've just finished watching someone on YouTube unbox the Gamera collection, the limited edition Blu-ray Gamera collection, the Arrow video. I've just bought out and it's a beautiful collection don't get me wrong I've had this which is also a beautiful collection that not many people have shown off on YouTube I've been holding on to this for a few months now been meaning to do a video and just haven't I'm just keeping it off well I'm gonna I'm doing something now that I haven't done for a while and it's a phone video with the torch on just shining on here I'm just gonna do this video and get it out of the way with the Twilight Zone itself may or may not need introduction. It's a series, a 50s into 60s series, created by Rod Serling. And basically it was a way of him making commentary on social situations without censors or censorship being involved. Because censorship was a big thing during the 50s and 60s. And what Rod Serling very cleverly did is he came up with the Twilight Zone of a way to actually tackle social um, problems, I suppose, like prejudice, sexism, racism, that sort of stuff. Um, but to be honest, advertisers didn't want to deal with back then, but he managed to do it through this show. If I put this little thing on top, and if I hopefully can zoom in and pull the camera back here, this is a bit of an overview of what this collection contains. So this is the 60th anniversary Blu-ray collection of The Twilight Zone. You can see down the side here, hopefully you can read all that. If not, I may bring up a bit closer. And of course, there we go, zoom in. You can pause it in any moment and read some of the contents but it contains an awful amount of stuff and it is a really really nice set i'm going to take that away and show you the contents of the set so anybody i'm going to move the camera over just a smidgen Sorry. there we go so anybody who remembers the fifth dimension box sets that i think cbs did put out a number of years back that contains both the 60s and 80s collection in one package this sort of resembles that so the outside here kind of has the same motif this sort of hypno spiral vortex thing we have here 60th anniversary edition and of course on the top we have the twilight zone complete original series 60th anniversary edition if i now take this off on the front here you've got the silhouette of rod serling and then dotted around here you've got various parts of the beginning the credit scene of twilight zone and if you actually move it around they actually, you can see they change. The door open and closes, the eye open and closes, um, things move around. Really good effect, the, the window smashes, really good effect. And if we now start moving it around, we actually can see some of the episodes themselves. There's the man himself, Rod Serling, and then finally this side. So I'm not gonna get out every single season, but I will show you that the seasons come packaged like this. So this is the original season. They come in these rather nice digi packs that have an excerpt or an image from one of the episodes and they open a lot like this. There we go. So that's the first season. All the seasons are color coded and also underneath the discs are more images to do with the season itself. So brilliant. These discs have been released before and are out there to buy in a far more cheaper box set because this box set is not cheap. However, I will get out season two because season two does contain something that's a bit special, a bit exclusive to the set, if you will. And what it contains is that disc there. That disc is exclusive to the 60th anniversary box set and does have some documentaries on there exploring the impact the Twilight Zone has had and also kind of delving into Rod Serling himself and the impact he has had and what his life was like after Twilight Zone, before Twilight Zone, that sort of stuff. So that's one of the unique things you get with this particular set. 
and just to show you the back of season two there the rest of the seasons are pretty much packaged the same just the discs are of course color coded if you don't know seasons one two three and five are half an hour long but in season four they decided to go to hour-long episodes um however as you can probably guess it didn't stick the other exclusive contents to this set if i can just grab season five there to make this a bit easier to grab these out the first thing you get is this companion book guide that is an excerpt of a bigger book written by mark zircon i think his name is that's the beginning uh, excerpt of the twilight zone there's rod serling himself um yeah i think this is written by mark zircon there's a much bigger book there's a companion to the Twilight Zone that exists. This is an excerpt of that. And it's just a really nice booklet that contains all sorts of different stuff about Twilight Zone. Rod Serling, the impact, some of the actors that starred in it. Um, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. Mer Burgess Meredith, where she starts in one of my favourite episodes, Time Enough at Last. That episode, which is a beautiful episode some beautiful images like that just really and they go he's in the cuts of some color images there as well really really good companion guide next up and again this exclusive is an episode guide kind of self-explanatory i'm not going to flick through this too much because of course there could be spoilers but you do get some nice information there and of course it also tells you bonus features on that particular disc and it also can tell you does it tell the air date and the production date i'm not sure if it's this that tells you that or not but definitely tells you the air date which is very nice stuff and you can see that each season is marked by a different color which does coincide with the discs of each thing and again really nice booklet there and these are quite hefty booklets if i'm being honest Next up is two reprints of the original Twilight Zone comic. So there we go. Good 50s slash 60s comic goodness there. You get two of those. Issue one, issue two, if I'm not mistaken. You also get some art cards from a couple of the uh, episodes. You also get, oh, this, which is basically a trivia book. It's to test your knowledge on the Twilight Zone. Also serves as a trivia book. So, I know this is kind of a, you know, a quick run through of this set. But as I said, I've been holding on to the set for quite some time. I've been wanting to get a video out about it plus. Uh, my timing for this video is kind of unfortunate because I've only got limited time to record this video, to be honest. But I wanted to record it while the inspiration, I had the inspiration to do so. I will be doing a follow-up video probably later on or tomorrow, recording it later on and then uploading it tomorrow about the impact of the Twilight Zone. Um, I will be uploading this tonight, pretty much as I've recorded it, but I will be doing a follow-up video of the Twilight Zone and the impact it's had on, on just everything. And anyway, guys, please take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, please take care. I'm repeating myself. Just take care, guys, and look after yourselves. Ta-ra.